Welcome to my bird sanctuary. I'm going to serenade my parrot. <laughs> Alexander had drawn attention to it. So why do you have all this money in your bath? So when I came back, it wasn't there. And I found my beautiful Valencia guitar. It was even nice. It was nicer than this one. In tone. It was smashed, lying in the front garden. I told it to the police, but they weren't interested. <laughs> Thank you. 
As you can see, I've only got two fingers that work. That's because they crippled my left arm on purpose. And then I had a beautiful little guitar. That's the guitar. He told me police smashed it. And then, on the 1st of November, 2015, after they locked me up and destroyed my business and my garden in 2015, on my birthday, my sister's birthday, on the 1st of November, I was abducted again at 9 o'clock at night by a Maruka police guy called Darren Boesma. He broke my door, left it open, and they stole all six of my guitars and my beautiful Fender Day. I got photographs of all the instruments that they stole. never satisfactorily investigated because of course the police were involved. They didn't just steal my guitars, they stole my laptop computer, my mobile phone, uh, my video camera, my steel camera, to the new Lenovo laptop. Computer. Of course, these things can all be traced. They can all be traced. In 2015, they stole my coin collection, which was worth millions of dollars. And then, as you can see, under the guise of removing a public health risk, they plundered my bamboo and all my plants, my beautiful monster. They bulldozed my frog breathing pond. Bulldozed me. Destroyed my irrigation system. And then disabled both my external tap. So that my plantation and organic farm would die. It was done by a company called Raimondis. A German company formed in 1934. It started off drawn by a billionaire German family called Rechmann. Third generation now. And they were formed as I said in 1934. The haulage rail freight disposal of ash. Anybody who's familiar with the Nazi atrocities will recall that the Nazis transported Jews and other victims to the death camp, concentration camp, on trains, on trains, and they burnt them down to ash. When you look at the Raimondis website, it says that it formed in 1934. It doesn't say anything about what they did in the 1940s or the 1950s. Or in fact, the 1960s. PA hospital said I had a persecutory delusion, persecutory, that birds were being smuggled, persecutory delusion. I wasn't saying that I was being persecuted, I said the birds were being thundered, traffic, they are, and I got hard proof of it. Not proof of it. 
photographic and video evidence over the past 10 years proving my allegation. I was cautious about making the allegation until I had facts to back up and proof and evidence. I have all those. Video evidence of the numbers of lorry sheep increasing dramatically as they looked after their new ship. A new ship. And went up from 20 to 30 to 40 in two days, three days. And then they all disappeared up and over and over again. Sometimes they block me up to steal my birds. In fact, lots of times they block me up to steal my birds. And the police say it's not a police matter. And locking a person up to steal their birds is a police matter. The council said it's not a council matter. Yeah. So now the hard proof of the fact that the birds have been plundered can be seen in my recent videos and you'll see that the numbers of carrots have been increased to more than 150 which I never had before and I had 100 in 2013. They locked me up when I came out of the hospital. hospital. There were five. Five. That's more. They poisoned my animals. Destroyed their habitat. And they're talking about sustainable. Le Monde. Says they have sustainable solutions. The Brisbane City Council says they're clean, green and sustainable. Their insurance company, who I just checked out today, also say that they're sustainable. The American insurance company. I'm claiming only $25 million from the Brisbane City Council, although I might revise that and claim more than that. Because the bamboo was more than seven meters tall. Huge bamboo worth a packet. But I'm claiming $30 billion compensation from Le Monde. I'm also bringing charges against them. Civilians can bring charges. Criminal charges. And Andrew Forrest, the cost of water to metal. To bring criminal charges against people. I've got more evidence of heinous crimes against me, my children, my business, and nature, and Australia. Our political leaders think that we're part of the West. They're buying American missiles sent to Ukraine to fight a proxy war against Russia. Russia hadn't done anything against us. Hadn't done anything against us and it's done a lot for us. So it's China. It's because of China that you can afford the technology that the Americans made available only to rich people and rich companies.
you can see that I've improved a lot from the poisoning. When they poison my trees and my plants and my animals and birds, I was also poisoned so badly that I almost died. Nearly died. This guy here fights for a ratio. My sister employed a tub. A tub. To protect Captain Marty. The tub. The criminal. They started the raising on my garden, the thundering on my garden, a couple of days before my birthday, in last year, 19th of September. The son James, the security guard, DSA security, he admitted that his father worked for Atheon. I asked him to confirm it on camera when he came the next day. He had no comment. I said, what do you think of the genocide of our Aboriginal people? He said, no comment. And I asked India Chang, a Vietnamese woman, who made the malicious complaint and issued a public health order against me without acknowledging that I was a doctor with years and years of experience. I asked him dear fans and her boss Paul Maloney what they were going to do about the trafficking of birds. She said she had no comment. No comment. taking medication of my own choice, dopamine, L-dopamine, carbidopamine, for Parkinson's disease, Parkinson's disease. And you can see the jewel is much better, my tummy is much better, my dexterity is much better. much stronger than I was. I was very weak. I couldn't turn over in bed in time. I couldn't stand up. I kept falling down all the time. But that was the combination of the poisoning that the PA hospital had done. So, years preceded by Victoria, Victorian psychiatrist, the speaking took the power saying the truth about the egregious human rights abuses and heinous corruption of the medical system in Australia. So they stopped me working as a doctor and earning money as a doctor. First when I was 34 years old, they let my father carry on working. He was in his 80s. The honest doctors get labeled and locked up, and dishonest doctors get promoted. It's corrupt system. Oh.